What's going on everybody? It's Monday today, that means it's video day. And seeing as it's a long weekend, Thanksgiving holiday, I'm uh, kind of hanging out around home. I have a snake to be shipped out tomorrow, so I thought what a better video to do than a shipping video. So let's get right, right into it. Uh, two weeks ago I ordered a shipping package from Reptile Express. I use them for a lot of my shipping needs. Um, they offer a door-to-door -door service here in Canada. They also offer a international uh, import and export, which is quite nice. I've used that to bring in some snakes in the past. Um, they do offer door-to-door -door service. They also offer uh, uh, to hold packages at the hub and to drop off packages at hub, which is quite nice. They use uh, FedEx and I've had really good success with it, so I keep on using it. Uh, so two weeks ago, uh, we got shipping lined up to ship this snake out. And Sam was nice enough to ship out this uh, kind of pre-packaged -pack, pre shipping uh, container for us. Um, they have pretty well everything you need for shipping. Uh, I didn't require a container to put the animal in, but if you need one of those, they sell those as well. So let's open it up and see what's what's in store. This is their, I believe it's a 12 by 9 by 6 shipping container. It's the number one container. Works great for, um, you know, adult leopard geckos, baby boas, juvenile boas, uh, ball pythons up to 500 grams or so. So pretty well, unless you're shipping adult snakes or snakes over four feet, this is probably the box that you will get when you ship. So we open up the lid here and it's nice thick styrofoam which is quite nice. Holds the heat in and make sure your snake is nice and warm. There's a little envelope. Keep this, don't throw this out. We'll talk about it in the future. There are six stickers. Three of them are yellow that say live harmless reptiles. Three of them are red that say please keep warm. Make sure you have those. Uh, there's a heat pack. This one's a 40 hour. Uh, we're shipping in October and it's not freezing yet but it does cool down in the evening so we wanna make sure we have a heat pack. And there's a zip strip. That's because if you're shipping your snake in a snake bag where it folds over, you wrap this zip strip around and zip it up and it just gives a little extra layer of protection to make sure your snake doesn't get out. All right, so as you can see around the side, you got this nice three quarter or one inch styrofoam to make sure your snake stays nice and warm. Uh, there comes with some newspaper that has been nicely folded. This is to keep the heat inside and it adds a little bit of cushioning and I guess it would offer a little bit of insulation, but probably not too much. All right, so beforehand, I packaged up this girl. Now I use this little deli container. It's about six or six and a half inches around. It's a couple inches deep. And I put th uh, three paper towels folded in half in there. Uh, this will help absorb any urates or feces if she does happen to go. Uh, she hasn't been fed in, I think, about 10 days to help clean her out. Uh, I also lifted the water yesterday, which would have been Sunday. So that'll give her a couple of days to to get all the urates out of her system, hopefully. Last thing I want is for these guys to go to the bathroom in here and spend the night in their own, own waste. Alright, so this container has little air holes all the way around. It allows, allows for air exchange and allows the snake to get fresh oxygen. I did tape the sides with clear packing tape. When you do that, make sure you're not covering up your holes. You want to make sure your snake is is well ventilated. I put elastic bands over this as well. It adds another layer of protection. If you're worried that the snake could pop the top, um, they'll, they'll help ensure that it won't do that. So, we're going to put the snake into the box and I like to stick them off to one side. 
Then I take a heat pack. This one's in the packaging still. I'm not going to open it because it will activate. But probably an hour or two hours before I package up the snake to go, I open this up and I shake it up quite well. And then I stick it into a towel or a hand towel or something. And this just helps get it going. It helps get it heated. Because uh, the last thing you want to do, especially if it's, you know, minus 20 like it gets here in Canada, uh, you don't want your snake to be without a whole bunch of heat. So I'll take my warm heat pack and I'll stick it off onto one side. Like so. This will make sure it still heats the inside of this container, but the snake isn't right up against it. And then, I'll take those lovely weekly flyers we get from all the stores trying to sell us their stuff. And I'll put that in there. And I'm going to fill up this space. Now you don't want it packed in there so tight that you know air can't move around. But you don't want it to be so loose that this container is going gonna, is gonna to flop out. I'm sure FedEx isn't throwing these things and tossing them like footballs. But just driving down the road, I don't want her shaking around and being all, all shook up. So, take a little bit of paper towel or a flyer, put it in there. Like so. The last piece is folded in half and just put on top, nice and clean, like that. Then we put our lid on, like so, and your snake will probably come with a tracking card. Tells you what snake it was and what they've been doing, what they've been eating. I lay that on top, as well as a business card. That way, if there's any problem, they can get a hold of me. We close the box up and we will run a couple pieces of tape. Now normally I would put three pieces over this, one down the middle like this, and then one down each side. As well, I would tape one of these sides. I'm not going to do it today because we're just kind of doing a dry run here. So, we take that envelope that I said not to throw out. And you will peel off the backing and you will stick it on half the box, just like this. This envelope will hold your shipping label. You will get that from Reptile Express now, the night before, generally, you're going to ship. I haven't got mine yet. Uh, Sound probably ship or email that over in a couple hours. I'll print it out. I'll fold it up nice. I'll slip it in here, and I'll seal it up. This is for the driver. Then... You take your stickers, and if I remember correctly, you put these on the top, like so. So Live Harmless Reptiles. Please keep warm. And then you'll put those, one yellow, one red, on each side of the box.
All right, just like that. So you have live harmless reptiles on this side of the box, as well as keep warm. You have live harmless reptiles and please keep warm on the top. You have your shipping label on the top. Then you have the same there. Live harmless reptiles, please keep warm. And that's pretty well it. Your box is now ready to be shipped. Now, if this snake wasn't being dropped off, like I said, I'm gonna drop it off on my way to work. So I'm gonna box it up just like this tomorrow. But if I was sitting at home waiting for the FedEx guy to arrive, I wouldn't seal this up. I would leave this open, the box open, and I would probably crack the the styrofoam lid a little bit and I would just leave it sitting either in my snake room or you know upstairs on the kitchen table somewhere where it was room temperature. Um, this would allow for uh, fresh oxygen and, and whatnot to get into the box and then when the FedEx guy showed up, pack everything up, tape it up nice, it takes about two minutes, the FedEx guy won't mind waiting, slip your, uh, attach your envelope, Slip your shipping label in there, boom, done. FedEx guy picks up your box, wishes you a good day, and tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, your buyer will receive their animal, hopefully in good condition. Um, that's pretty well it. So, like I said, tomorrow this girl's going out. Uh, I have a snake coming in near the end of the week, so keep an eye open for a unboxing video. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, everybody enjoy your Thanksgiving. Till next week, talk to you later.